So there's a difference between these two questions, right? The first question is, can you tell me whether every cycle of order k is an even permutation? And the second question is, can you tell me if every permutation of order k is an even permutation? Um, so let's talk about the cycles one first. Um, you actually have an example of a cycle of odd order as part of this problem, right? Uh, you were looking at this cycle from our problem solving session, 1, 5, 7, 9, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. How do I know, by the way, that that's a cycle of odd order? What is its order? Nine. Its order is 9. How do we know that its order as an element of S9 is 9? Uh, yeah, Casey. Its length? Yeah, so for cycles, the order is just the same thing as its length because it's a generator of a cyclic subgroup, right? Um, and its, its length is, is the same thing as its order. And so is this cycle an even permutation? How do we know? K one. Right. We can write it as a product of eight transpositions. And so what's the general case? Uh, is it true that every cycle of odd order is an even permutation? It is true, right? So for a single cycle, this is definitely a true statement. If the order is, uh, if the order is odd, the permutation is even in sign. So what changes when we go from part C to part D? If I think about permutations instead of just cycles, what's the difference? Maybe what's an example of a permutation of odd order that is not a cycle of odd order? Can you give me an example of a permutation that would look like that? composed with 3, 6, 9. So like this, a four cycle composed with a three cycle. Yeah. Uh, what, is, what would the order of this permutation be? Uh, no, I it would, yeah, the order of this permutation would be 12, right? Because it's the least common multiple of four over three. So this one doesn't have odd order, but how could I fix it? Could you do two, three cycles? A, a product of two, three cycles? Yeah. Let's try it. So we'll get rid of this. I suppose, let's just do this, just erase one of these. So here's a product of two, three cycles. What would be the order of this element? The least common multiple of three with itself, right? So the order of this is gonna be three. So this is indeed an element of odd order. Now, how do I know whether or not this is gonna be an even permutation? Yeah. Right. Each of these I can break into a product of two transpositions, 1, 2, 1, 4, and follow that by 3, 9, 3, 6. So what do we conclude about whether this is an even permutation? It is even. Does, how well does this generalize? Are we sure that this is always going to happen? Yeah, it doesn't prove it, right? Yeah, this one example doesn't prove the for all statement. Um, but what is, so what is the argument here? If the order of my permutation is odd, what do I know about the disjoint cycles that make up that permutation, right? They must both be odd. All of the cycles, in fact, if there's more than two, we can say all of them have got to be odd. How do we know that? All the cycles that make up this permutation, disjoint cycles, have to have odd length. Why? Because as soon as you have one of even length, then they're at least, co they're at least common multiples that mean even numbers. Yes, home run, exactly. Um, so the only way to have an odd least common multiple is if all the numbers in that set are odd. Because right? as soon as one of them is even, the least common multiple has got to have a factor of 2 in it, and therefore be even. Right? So yes, every permutation of order k, if k is odd, all of the disjoint cycles that make it up have to be disjoint cycles of odd length, and therefore odd order. Right? But then each one of those cycles, because its length is odd, we can write it with an even number of transpositions. And so all of my cycles that make up this permutation will be cycles that can be written as an even number of transpositions, and therefore the total number of transpositions is a sum of even numbers. So true or false, every permutation of odd order is an even permutation? True, true. true. I'm not usually in the habit of doing two true statements when, I, when you have consecutive uh, true-false questions, so I figured this one would be a little bit uh, subversive.